Major circles of latitude. What are the tropics and the polar circles? What is the equator? Different parts of the Earth's surface get different amounts of solar energy due to the 23 and a half degree tilt of the Earth's axis. During its yearly cycle, the Earth passes through four significant positions. On the winter solstice, the southern hemisphere tilts to its maximum extent toward the sun. The Tropic of Capricorn is the line where the sun is directly overhead at noon on the winter solstice. Tangential rays contour the Arctic and Antarctic circles forming an area where the night lasts longer than 24 hours, while the opposite pole gets over 24 hours of light. The equator is the line where the sun is directly overhead at noon on the spring equinox. Day and night have the same length at all places on the earth. The Tropic of Cancer is the line where the sun is directly overhead at noon on the summer solstice. The polar day occurs in the Arctic Circle, while the polar nights take place in the Antarctic Circle. The overhead sun is once again at the equator. Day and night have the same length at all places on the Earth. Now you know what the circles of latitude are. The Earth cycles. Let's see what changes from day to night. And from summer to autumn. What makes day change to night? The prime meridian shows the beginning of the rotational cycle. The Earth's spin causes the cycle between day and night. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to rotate completely around its axis. What causes the Earth's seasons? The seasons are caused by the tilt of the Earth's axis, which is 23 and a half degrees. The Earth revolves around the Sun in 365 days. When the Sun's energy heats the Northern Hemisphere less directly, it's winter. March 21st or 22nd is the vernal equinox. This is when the length of night and day is the same at all places on the Earth. When the sun's energy heats the northern hemisphere most directly, it's summertime. September 22nd or 23rd is the autumnal equinox. Now you know what causes day and night cycles and the different seasons of the earth. What is a tide? A tide is not just the rise and fall of the ocean water. Tide is the movement of water caused by complex interactions between the gravitational and rotational forces of the Earth, Moon, and Sun. The combined forces cause the oceans to bulge out in the direction of the Moon. As the Earth rotates around its axis, the bulge is directly in line with the Moon.
The Earth rotates a few times faster than the water bulge. Therefore, the solid Earth moves toward the water bulge. Observing the tide from the Earth, you might think that the water goes to the Earth's surface. When in fact, it's the Earth's surface that meets the water bulge. Now you know what tides are and how they occur. The phases of the moon. Why does the moon look different every night? During each lunar month, the moon changes from not being visibly illuminated to being fully illuminated. There are eight distinct, traditionally recognized stages of the moon, which are also referred to as its phases. A new moon occurs when the moon and sun rise and set at the same time. The waxing crescent occurs two days after the new moon. The moon rises one hour behind the sun and follows it during the day. The first quarter occurs a week after the new moon. The moon rises at noon and sets around midnight. The sun and the moon are 90 degrees apart in the sky. The waxing gibbous occurs between the first and second week after the new moon. The moon rises before sunset and sets after midnight. A full moon occurs two weeks after the new moon. As the sun sets in the west, the moon rises. As the sun rises at dawn, the moon sets. The waning gibbous occurs a few days after a full moon. The moon rises after sunset and sets between sunrise and noon. The last quarter occurs three weeks after the new moon. The moon rises around midnight and sets around noon. The waning crescent occurs during the fourth week. The moon rises in the east before dawn and during the morning. The moon sets ahead of the sun below the western horizon. The lunar cycle repeats itself with each new moon. Now you know why the moon looks different every night. Solar Eclipse What is a solar eclipse and when does it happen? Any object that revolves around the sun produces a shadow. A shadow is divided into the umbra and penumbra. The umbra is the section where light is completely blocked, a total solar eclipse. The penumbra is the region where the light is only partially blocked, a partial solar eclipse. The track of the moon's umbral shadow is the path of totality. It is 10,000 miles long and 100 miles wide. To see a total solar eclipse, you must be somewhere inside the narrow path of totality. A total solar eclipse can only occur when the new moon passes between the Earth and the Sun. Since a new moon comes every month, why don't we see an eclipse every month? The moon's orbit is around the Earth at a five degree tilt from the Earth's orbit around the Sun. The geometry lines up just right and a total solar eclipse can be seen somewhere on the Earth only twice a year. The moon rotates around the Earth in 27 days. 
The Earth revolves around the Sun in 365 days. Theoretically, there could be 13 chances for an eclipse each year. But the moon's shadow usually misses the Earth as it passes below our planet during a new moon. Here's the second time when people see a total solar eclipse somewhere on Earth. The shadow misses Earth as the moon passes above our planet. Now you know what a solar eclipse is and why this phenomenon only happens twice per year.